Welcome back, and thank you for watching the Dr. Nandy Show. Now, as a physician, I spend a ton of time at work, and many studies have shown that job stress is a major source of stress for adults. So, what should you do when you're at work and you feel your stress levels rising? My next guest is a certified stress management coach who has written a book titled Crush Stress at Work. So, please welcome Lolita Gwaran. Thank you for joining us. I Thank appreciate it. Thank you for it. inviting. Of course. So, you know, I, I, I've written down here, so you teach your clients how to kick stress in the butt. Tell me about that. What does that mean? And, and what, what kinds of techniques do you teach them? Um, my stress management consultation is called kick stress in the butt because yeah. we really need to take care of our stress. Yes. Somehow in today's society, is tolerable. Oh, everybody has stress. It's totally normal. But as you mentioned before, it really affects our health. Right, so right. I think we need to give a kick, good kick and get rid of it from our life. And you have an interesting story about what happened to you at work, right? That had you extremely stressed. Maybe that, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, when I came um, to the United States from Lithuania yeah. quite a few years ago, I was very ambitious and I wanted to reach my American dream. Yes. And so when I finally got into corporate America, I was like, great, this is my opportunity. So I was very eager to work, get a new projects, learn new things, and I wanted my supervisors to be proud of me. So soon I realized I had a, such a long to-do list that I had to skip lunches. I worked extra hours. I went to my office even over the weekends. Mm -hmm. And how it is in busy day, I had no time even to eat. So by the end of the day, I was so hungry that I would just devour everything that is in front of me. And you know in the office, you have pizza left over, you have donuts, exactly. So. Um, and I was afraid to tell my supervisors that, you know, I don't think I'm going to make this deadline. And I was so afraid to tell my coworkers, I'm so sorry, I have so much to do myself. I'm not going to be able to help you with your task. So what happened to me one day, I just collapsed on the kitchen floor oh, and wow. had to be rushed to emergency room because my stress levels and my bad nutrition, lack of exercise really impacted my health. And that moment I thought, okay, whoa, I need to really slow yeah, down. Something. So, um, I realized I would like to find some natural ways how I can da manage my stress. And I had some friends who said, you just go to the doctor, they give you some pill and then you'll be fine. And I'm like, uh. no, 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 I don't want to get another pill. And so I, I learned how to manage the stress naturally. And there are plenty of ways and little tips and tricks that we can do all through the day that we don't end up collapsing at the end of the day and we still have enough energy for the people that we love when we love. come back home. Because you give everything at work. And, 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 and her story is not unique mm -hmm. in this world. So many of us are all, all, all just always trying to do so much at work and we give everything we can. And, and the key is here, you have to think about yourself. And, and so many bosses out there, people who are employers, you've got to listen to the story because part of, part of the story is that so many employers expect so much from their from their employees that they don't allow this to happen. Tell us about some of these exercises what, that you learned that you can give some of these tips uh, that you can give to our audience that, that can help them get where you are. The secret is to space yourself, to manage your time. But the thing, there are some few things that you can do all through the day. Yeah. For example, you can take a one minute break every hour. Just okay. put on your cell phone and say, this is the time when I'm going to drop everything I'm doing. I'm going to just close my eyes, just breathe in, breathe out and say, this is time for me. And trust me, that one minute is going to look like 10 minutes. That's right. Because you're just so busy. You want to get these things done and go home. But I recommend you take that time. It's going to be hard though. It's, it's going to be very are, hard. Yeah, it'll seem like 10 minutes, but go ahead. So you need to take your break. So for example, if you uh, work at your desk, I recommend you to stand up and go somewhere. Walk around, talk with some few coworkers, not too long because there's some work to <laughs> do. Work, yeah. Take your break, take some water. I didn't even know that if you just dehydrated 10%, that already affects 20% of your brain activity. You're already uh, capable less of performing, so it's very, important to go and take a break, take a glass of water, go to talk with somebody, or just look through a window and look to the nature, or even look at the picture of a nature. I also recommend looking at the pictures of the family that you have, or the people that you love, um, daydreaming. Again, not too long, maybe a few minutes, or even take your lunch break. Lots of employees don't take lunch breaks because there's just such a big requirement to meet your deadlines that we think, oh, you know, I'm just going to work to lunch and that, that's okay. Or they eat while they work and that's very bad for you. You should take at least 15 minutes for yourself and eat in peace 
and relax and say, this is time for me. Because when you collapse at the end of the day, who's going to take care of your family? And I have lots of clients that say, oh, the leader, you don't understand. I don't have time for all of this. Right. And I'm like, who's going to take care of you when you're going to be in the emergency room? Absolutely. It's so important. This happened to her where she collapsed, and you can't let this happen to you. And, and the key is that, again, our employers have to do the same thing, not just our, not just our employees.